AndrewKazer.com coming at you with a video tutorial here on how to mimic the background effect for thinkgeek.com. Let's go ahead and take a look at their website. Um, now you'll see with the background that they've got some cool looking robots, some awesome little UFOs and some other things going on here. Um, and then as you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll see a quick transition to zombies that are screaming brains. Um, so with that effect, it really, it really pops it out. You know, I, I, I saw this one morning at four o'clock. I wasn't doing anything and I was just like, I, I've got to figure out how to do that. So that's what this video is about. If you would like to learn how to do this effect, I don't even know what it's called. It's just, it's just a way to design a, uh, a background. So let's go ahead and right click on the background image and inspect element. Now if you're not using Chrome, like if you're using Firefox, then you'll need to install Firebug. It's a free add-on, great tool. Um, so first thing I notice is it pulls us up into the div ID fancy wrapper and that has a background image of the robot zombies according to the name at least let's take a look yep okay so as you can see that they, it's a two-tone image with a transparent background and it's just gray and black so let's go ahead and save this image to our desktop um, robozombies.png I'll save that then that's the fancy wrapper now the containing wrapper of that has another background image that is just a gray to black gradient so let's go ahead and save that image as well and that's a JPEG so real quick we'll just take a little a little note um, the background the black gradient needs to be at the bottom left repeat X and the fancy wrapper is center bottom repeat X attachment background attachments fixed and the positions relative so we're gonna go ahead and create a new file we'll call it robots.html now we'll start off with the HTML5 doc type which is super simple HTML head title style so there, there's our basic our basic setup um, we're gonna go ahead and add a container div for the content that we're about to publish in there um, I have this stored elsewhere it's just a bunch of lorem ipsum so we're gonna go ahead and throw that in there alright um, just for being neat we'll go ahead and do that now let's save that and open it up in Chrome okay wall of text pretty boring so we'll go back here and the first thing we want to do is get the container looking like it would on a real website so we'll do width 800 picks margin 0 picks and auto that'll align at center and then we'll give it a 1 pick solid border all black and we'll give it a background color of white. Ooh, I lost count there. Okay, so that's that's the first step. So now let's go ahead and I'm going to attach some style to the HTML tag. We're gonna give it a background image URL is going to be the body tile. bottom dash tall dot jpeg background repeat repeat x background 
position, bottom left, and a background color, which has to be that gray from the top, the same color gray as the zombies, which is 414244. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there. Background color, 414-2444, or 244, whatever. Anyway, okay, so let's save that and take a look. Well, let's close out of this. Okay, open up Chrome. And, okay, yeah, that, that did not do what we wanted it to do. Background, position. Well, let's see, spelling errors matter. So now that we have it spelled correctly, now, now it's looking better. Except we're not getting our background color on the containing div. Um, just go ahead and get rid of all of that. Retype it. Okay. <laughs> Totally bizarre. Uh, no, we just want to do a border. One pick solid. Black. Okay. So now with the body tag, we want to put the robot image positioned relative to the bottom center and repeat it X. So we're going to do background image URL robozombies.png background repeat repeat x background position bottom center background attachment fixed and position relative boom there it is now you've got yourself a awesome looking background for any of your websites and you can do this pretty much with any element it's just a matter of being creative and thinking about how to do that um you know you could put that png inside that container without a background color and then apply backgrounds to like the specific elements like every p tag can have a white background and then so you would see that behind and between each element um go ahead and send me some links to your examples of how you use this tutorial how you know if you've seen any other websites that have the same effect anything like that i look forward to hearing from you guys and thanks a lot for watching andrewkaiser.com peace out